time we did it, we got 18 out of 20 queens, and we were booked. So This is what we got the first time. We call this queen hurry for dummies. Complete idiots can go home and do this. And that guy, well, you show him the picture. That guy that went from the class three weeks ago in Titan, weeks ago. went home and tried this for the first time, and that's what he got on his first try with cell punch method. He got about 8 out of 10 first time around. First time he ever tried. He said he's tried every other method, never had any success with queen raising. Got eight or nine out of ten. He said with the very first one. So, is a dick you know you can. Do this. this has to be done with wax foundation only. Does does yes. not. Have. It can't be done with plastic. plastic. Oh no no! I tried it with plastic once. Don't <laughs> don't matter how hot you get that, it ain't going through that piece of plastic. <laughs> I did. It. The frame exploded. As a matter of fact, it died. boom. You know, typical guy. It would just go hard. <laughs> no hard. More power. Didn't or, work. More power. Didn't work. Uh, Don't ask for directions. Don't read the book. Yeah, I ask for directions. She Learn by screwing up. <laughs> I get there eventually. Yeah. Okay, we'll get started here. I, I like to use these little cell cups um, that are part of the Jenner system, but you can buy them individually from uh, Russian Mountain or uh, Man Lake's got them, and probably other people as well got them. And the little uh, cell cups, the little, these are wax cell cups. I get these from Walter Kelly Company all very inexpensive and it's very easy to use and get. What I do is I take this little cup holder and I take the wax, stick it down in there, and I've got a little, just a little dowel, shove it down in there and get it nice and tight so it won't fall out on you. And it helps put a little water on this to get it out. So now I'm set ready to go. Okay? That's all I do to get ready. Then we're going to go over here and what basically it takes, as far as equipment is concerned, is you've got to have the punch tool. And everybody can see this, just a simple little punch tool. You've got to have, I use hot water, and this wax is melted here, and, this, and these are both old crock pots. I think I got uh, this one in the flea market for two bucks, and this is one of ours that we quit using. Yeah. So, you know, hey, they're around there. Every flea market's got crock pots, and yeah. you can get them for two or three bucks. And they work great, and, you know, it's cheap and it's inexpensive. Okay. So once you get set up, you got your, your wax melted, you got hot water, then you go get your frame out of your hive that has the larvae in there, and brush the bees off, okay? Don't shake the bees off. Don't do one of these numbers because you, you're liable to hurt the larvae in there. So take a brush, brush them off as gently as you can. And when you get them all off, put a damp towel across this when you carry it back to your bee house or, or basement or wherever you're going to do this at. Do it inside, okay? And have your light come over. I've got just like an office uh, lamp off of a desk. It comes up and shines down. <coughs> and we use these magnifying things to put on your head so that you can see a lot better. I'm 65 years old. My eyes don't work as good. But with these, I can see that they're the right size, right age larva, and it works very well. You, you need something like this magnifying glass or something for most of us. Uh, some of the young fellows here maybe oh, don't need it. But, uh, uh, it's plenty of me for it. <laughs> us older guys, we do. So we got that. We're looking and we're seeing. So we take our and everybody's going to do this. We take our tool out, and we just center it right over the, the cell that we want to punch out. We just punch it on down, push this all the way through. And it's easier to do when you've got two people. Okay, I punched it out. And sometimes it comes out easier up front. Sometimes it comes easier out the back. This one I think I'm going to have. Okay, then what I do is on the bottom side, just kind of cone it out a little bit so it'll fit. Okay, we're using wax to wax, so I'm, that's why I put that little wax cell cup in there. Take my hot wax that I've got here, put a little dab in there, set this right down in there. Let it cool. Now, I have, on this one, smashed just a little bit of the top opening. And what you can do is take any kind of a little tool and just open that back up again. Wax it, you got hard yet. Don't touch the larva in there. 
just the very top where I kind of smashed it together. That's good to go. And what we do is hook it on. So that's all there is to it. I keep a, a damp towel over this one as well. And, and I just lift it up. I put these in, put it back down here. We keep a damp towel on this one as well when we're not working with it to keep the moisture in there because that's your biggest enemy is moisture, not really the temperature is the okay, moisture. That, that was my next question. How warm do we have to keep it? Uh, just normal room temperature is fine. Moisture is more of a problem that you don't want them to dry out. So you just want them to go like that. And then another reason why I use these, and I've got in the first class, um, here's an easy, they're awful, real easy to take a hive tool and pop them up off of there. And this one, you can see that this point came out. And they're really, really easy. And then, when you're going to put them in your <coughs> mating nukes, you've got something to hook on. And you just open it and you slide the frame, slide these right down between two frames, and that's all there is to it. And you don't have to push them in some kind of a puncture or whatever or anything like that. They just really fit nice right down in there. And we will merge right down into the comb. Mm -hmm. Right down. The bees can come right up to them and you're good to go. And you can reuse that cell base. Yes. Oh, right. oh, yes. Oh, yes. We just, you'll see. These are all cell bases we used in the last class. Yeah. You just take the wax off. Well, we should take the wax off, put it back. Melt it. Melt it. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, and I, I don't throw anything away. I'm, 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 I, well, Dan knows I'm the pack rat. So, uh, you know, I, I'd save everything, keep everything. But I'd reuse it as much as possible. So it you know, works out very well. All right, we're going to have everybody come up and do this. But before you do, I want to, to sort of give you a, a quick overview of what's in your book. And the reason we're teaching you this is because Dr. Larry Connor came up with a map that works for it works beautifully. And that's why we're teaching you. <coughs> it lets you raise queens without using up a lot of resources out of your bee yard, including giving up honey production. This is why it's, it's really genius that he's figured out every piece of this. You take a hive with the queen you want to raise daughters from, and you find on in that hive eggs, a frame of eggs that have some larva that have, you know, you look in there until you see some with the little royal jelly. And actually what you'll see is, is she lays in a spiral. So the oldest ones will be in the center, and then they'll get progressively younger. And actually, what will happen is you'll end up taking the ones from around the edge because they're the right age. When you look down in there, you'll see that the teensy little seeds that have just turned over are the ones usually right around like this. We just use one frame because we're usually only doing about 20. If you're doing more than 20, it might, you might need to find a second frame. But if you're only doing 10 or 20, you can almost always find plenty on one frame. Now, this is a sacrifice frame. I mean, this, frankly, you know, when this goes back in the hive, and I put it back in the hive, um, they'll make drone out of, out of them. You know, any, any holes like that, they'll fill with drone, uh, basically, comb, comb and, and they'll raise drones in there. But since there's a lot of little babies in there, I don't like to waste that. I like to put them back in the hive, and, and they'll raise them. And this has only been out of the hive a few minutes. So, okay, so I go to the, I go to the hive <coughs> that I'm going to breed from, and I wait until I find the frame that's got the eggs on it, right? And I, I brush the, the bees off, and I, I set that in my finisher, right? In, my, excuse me, my starter, my little five-frame nuke starter. And it sits right in the center because when I take it out and we punch it, I'm going to replace it with this. This is, the queen cells are going to go right back where that came out of. So then I want a frame of pollen and a frame of pollen on either side, pollen and honey, if you can find it, because that's what they need to make the royal jellies, pollen and honey. And then I put a, an empty frame of foundation on one side and maybe a feeder on the other, or another frame of honey. All right? So, and, and I make sure the, the bees are off of that. I, I, I shake the bees off of everything except the frame of eggs. I brush the bees off the frame of eggs because I don't want to jerk the larva and eggs. So that's empty currently. It's essentially empty. I, you've got to make sure the queen's not in there. Right. And the way to do that is to make sure there's no bees on those things. All right? You're just going to do this for a few minutes. Then I go back inside that hive, and I find the queen if I possibly can. If you can't find the queen, find the queen. That's all I'm telling you. Because <laughs> you can't put the queen in here. You put the queen in here, you've wasted all of your efforts because she's going to tear down every one of those queen cells. They're not going to make queen cells if the queen's there. 
Find the queen. That's why you should mark the queen. Find the queen and make sure that she's somewhere that you're not going to shake her into this. Then go and find every frame in that hive that's got larva on it. Eggs, larva, brood, capped or uncapped, and shake every bee from that hive, the hive the eggs came from, the same hive, into this box until it's boiling over with young nurse bees, because that's what you're looking for. All right? And when you're done with that, you know, put a lid on this. The queen's not in here. It's young nurse bees. And put this overnight somewhere cool and dark. In a garage, in a basement, somewhere cool and dark. All right? So when... Stop me if I'm going crazy here. We've got to get the larvae eggs in there. They better be in there. All right. So this is what you started with, your larvae and eggs, and then the two frames of... All right. So now... The next day, I go over to Gabe's house, or Gabe comes to mine, or we're at Gabe's house, or we're at my house. And now you guys are all going to come up and do this. You're going to come up and take this out of there, put a damp cloth, a damp towel around, not wet, not dripping wet, damp around this. You're going to put a damp cloth around this where they're going to go. Humidity is the most important thing. All right? So, now come up. Or you wanted to do that one, or you want to start over? No, we'll just start. All right. All right. So... I'm going to slip this over here. Hang on, we're not, we're not. Okay, go ahead. What's the question? A minute ago, you, you were talking about the pollen. Uh, when you do this, can you have a pollen patty? Oh, yes, of course. You should put a pollen patty and some syrup in there, like Joe said. All right, so here's the. A sponge with water is good to put in the bottom. Because remember, they can't fly out and bring in water. Water is good yeah. to have a sponge thing in the bottom. What they found is that. They'll raise more queen cells, and they'll be better queens if it's the same bees as the queen that laid the eggs. They just accept their own better. They sense who their own is. They can smell. This is their own. So you're using all the resources from this hive. Okay, so now put a queen excluder on top of the hive and set the box back on top that has five frames left in it because you've taken five frames out of it. Okay? Everything else is down on the bottom with the queen and the bees, and it's a working hive. You've, you've sort of shaken them up, but they're down in the hive. Put a queen excluder, set this box back on top with the five things that are left. You take the five frame nuke, you set it overnight somewhere, and there's a gap in the middle. But in 24 hours, that's not going to bother them. They're not going to do anything in that gap. <coughs> now you go and do the cell punch method. Leave that overnight. So they'll start it. Remember the starter there? And when you come back the next day, you... Do the, you, you, you've, you've put the grafted cell punch things right in the middle where the eggs were. You've left it overnight. They've started 20 of those cells, or 18, or 10, or however many they're going to start. You go back to the hive, you take the lid off, and you put those five right back in the same hive they came from. So you've lost no bees. Your hive is still a working hive. The bees will sort themselves out in the hive, and they won't fight because it's their hive. They've only been gone a few hours. They'll recognize each other. They don't fight each other, and they'll sort themselves out. Nurse bees will come up, foragers will go down. You can even put a honey super on top, and they'll continue to make honey up above this. <clears throat> and you've got to have that queen excluder in so the queen can't get up from the bottom and ruin these eggs, ruin these. So. All right, we'll start out. We need an assembly. Everybody's going to do this now. Everybody's going to do it. What we do is take one of these. We've just found that wax adheres to wax better, but you could do it right on plastic, you could do it on wood, you could cut a wine cork in half and adhere it up there if you want. This is just the way we do it. Pick up one of those, one of these, put the open part right, perfect. You kind of put that dowel in there and sit that down. tamp it down so that you've got wax that Any you can adhere wax. Any perfect. other than where there's a You're lot done. of stuff so you can go on to. One over there and do the cell line. It won't come through. Yeah. You can buy these by the thousands from Kelly for a couple bucks. Okay. So it's probably easier just to buy them. It, it was for them. Tommy, this is they make them thick. Say. You see how kind of thick so those are? I like that. It's it. lots of wax in there. <clears throat> okay, Pick up one of these. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. Now, where is the wax that you're talking about right yeah, now? Before wax. I thought you said it was just kind of something to do with wax. wax. Right so here. Oh, these are the wax. Yeah. Yeah. Put those in so that you're hearing yeah. that wax to some wax to, to make the cell punch yeah. thing. 
stick. Take one of those and one of these. You gotta, you gotta get the wax. And, and we buy these in a box. They sell like 5,000 of these for six or eight bucks, something like that. Kelly's does. That's a lot easier than making them. Now you put this. They've got a machine that does them. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm just about making them. Wait a second. It's very time consuming. If you want to do it, make your own. Wax the wax. One of these. You know, and it really sticks well. And then exactly. You're ready to. Just slide just it down it right down over there. And you're good oh, cool. to go. No, That's it. Now, is that the oh, okay on top, yeah, or is that one that... Pardon me? Is that open enough? Up is that open enough? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's pretty good shape. Uh, like I was saying, if, 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 they, uh, if they close up, you happen to squeeze it a little bit, you can take a little tool and open it back up a little bit. Don't touch the larva. Yeah, just don't touch the larva, exactly. All you want to be able to do is open it up so the bees can get in there exactly. and fill it more. <laughs>